Uh, we're going to talk about the Royals, uh, particularly Harry and Meghan. Let's go straight over to former Sun Royal editor Charlie Ray. Hi, Charlie. Kevin. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about Harry's uh, podcast idea uh, that he pitched to Spotify executives. Uh, he had this idea that he talked to Vladimir Putin about his alleged tortured childhood, that he talked to Donald Trump about his difficult childhood, allegedly. We don't know whether these people had difficult childhoods, but oh. Harry, Harry thinks everyone had a traumatic childhood. Uh, also, the Pope, he wanted to talk to the Pope about re religion. And I gather he wanted to get an interview with God as well about what it's like trying to run the earth from up in heaven. Uh, but anyway, these ideas, he pitched these ideas to Spotify executives who apparently literally scratched their heads in despair and dismay. This guy does not live on planet Earth, does he? And it's been it's not does not live on planet Earth, but it's been suggested that when he pitched this to... Uh, the the people at, at Spotify, they sort of looked at him and said, "Yeah, yeah, well, mm. good, and good if you can get them." <laughs> his, his suggestion was that they would get hold of them and he would put in the questions after. That was uh. the that was the suggestion. He wasn't even good. He, he wasn't even going to be able to make the phone calls himself. You'd have thought, being a former well, he's still a prince, but a former member of the royal family, he would have had some clout in in maybe getting hold of some of these people. But even for him, that's just a that's just a brick too far to be perfect. I mean, it's madness. He's it it's it just goes to show you know how, how what he's thinking, uh, and it's not clear thinking. Is is not good at this stuff. It's that simple. Uh, we also hear, Charlie, uh, we'll come back to the uh, podcast craziness in just a little while, because uh, don't forget that Harry and Meghan were getting $20 million from Spotify. doesn't look like they're going to get anything like that now because Spotify have had enough. They didn't like uh, all... Th um, uh, archetypes her podcast yeah. megan's podcast series very much it wasn't very successful uh she produced nothing else so they think uh, these two have not been productive enough they're not getting their 20 million quid or the 20 million dollars uh he never produced anything for it uh, but we're also hearing uh by the way all right let's have a little uh a quick look at uh happier days when megan first proposed her archetypes idea let's have a look People should expect the real people should expect the real me in this and probably the me that they've never gotten to know certainly not in the past few years um, where everything is through the lens of the media as opposed to hey it's me I'm just excited to be myself and talk and be unfiltered and yeah it's fun the the arrogance of expecting that everybody wants to know you oh yeah i really want to know megan oh but oh megan you're gonna make a podcast series so i can get to know you that's exactly where they've gone wrong they have no idea about how the commercial world works do they and they, they don't and uh we've now heard that she directly contacted one of show business royalty uh, that's right who, taylor swift yeah and and in the message that she sent to her, come on my podcast, it'd be great talking to everything else. Taylor didn't even bother to reply to it. She got a flunky to send a note back saying, thanks, but uh, no thanks. <laughs> I, I mean, I, you know, and I'm now hearing, uh, I'm now hearing that the, the Harry and Meghan are now going to be producing <clears throat> a new program called Bad Manners. Now, you may think she may have been referring to the 80s group with Buster Blood Vessel, yeah. but no, she's referring to a rerun of the classic Great Expectations tale centred on Miss Havisham. Now, remember how the BBC a few weeks ago did that dreadful programme on Great Expectations? I mean, I, what on earth they could possibly think that they're going to produce that could add to this? I mean, Charles Dixon, Ch Dixon Charles Dickens wrote a pretty good book Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. so, not know. a bad, but he wasn't a bad writer, actually. <laughs> he was but a bad writer. Uh, th this yeah. idea, but this is also, you know, in case uh, Megan hasn't quite realised, Miss Havisham isn't necessarily the most sympathetic character no. in literature, and yet no. they want to make a series called Bad Manners, which is about Miss Havisham before. She ended yeah. up as this kind of sad recluse when she was a powerful woman, of course. And Everything phrase, is a powerful woman with Megan, isn't it? And the it? phrase, Kevin, is a, a woman, a lonely woman, who was brought up in a patriarchal society. Oh, you God. Know, come on, let's, God. Please. 
Pass the sick bag again. You yeah, know, give, let's, give me let's a break. Do you yeah, know my I mean, favourite idea? So we're also hearing, Charlie, that uh, Spotify have cut the ties. Uh, yeah. We're also hearing that Netflix, with whom, of course, the gruesome twosome have a $100 million deal. They produced one series. Netflix apparently very unhappy that they produced nothing else. But yeah. one of their ideas <laughs> is, uh, or one of their ideas was uh, Emily in Paris... Only with a man. The man, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, this Emily in Paris, from what I've been reading, uh, was reasonably quite successful. Oh, no, I, I watched it. It's got, it's got uh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a good series. But, yeah. uh, but it, it was all about a young girl, American girl in Paris. And it, their idea was, well, let's just make it a young American man, Edward that's, in Paris or something. That's, that's, that's it. Well, they've got no new, fresh ideas. They've got to pinch something or twist something round from somewhere else. And, you know, it, it, it's quite incredible. Kevin, just one thing just before um, we, we, we go, I just want to say to you, there's been some breaking news this afternoon, and that is that the Duchess of York has been diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, and um, she's now she's had an operation and she's left hospital. I just think we should just. Oh, absolutely! Wish I didn't. I honestly didn't. I should. I should. Have no, no, known no. That. It's, I I should have know. Know. it's only just dropped, Kevin. It's only just dropped on my computer, and I just think she. I mean, she's a. Despite all her problems, I used to get on very Come well on. with her, and she was a. a yeah, she's a very good lady, and I send all my love and best wishes to her. Well, we all send our best wishes to the Duchess of York. I didn't realise that. So you're telling me that the Duchess of York has she's had an operation? Uh... Had an operation, and it's a, they've described it as a successful operation. No more details. I think she's just she has just left hospital, but they've decided to announce it. I'm sorry to drop it on you. No, no, no. I'm glad you did, Charlie. Wouldn't want to miss it. Uh, gosh, uh, well, that's quite a turn cool. of events. Well, as I say, I, I, I join you in wishing the Duchess of York Fergie all the best. Uh, nobody would wish that on anyone. So, uh, But it sounds as if uh, it's good news and that the yeah. operation has been a success. So the Duchess That's of York thing. has undergone surgery for breast cancer, but we understand it has been a success. Uh, let's go back. Uh, I hardly know how to do this now, but let's go back to uh, our favourite couple. Uh, what, what, where do they go from here, Charlie? Because what's happened happened here with Harry and Meghan is, you know, they've collided with the real world. Yeah. Uh, Netflix and Spotify, OK, we'll take your series about you. We'll take your series about you pouring a bucket over Charles and the royal family. But this pair have got ideas that they would come up with productions that are nothing to do with them. They're just ideas, their productions, their dramas, their show ideas. Uh, well, if they're not talking about the royal family, as this guy Bill Simmons said at uh, Spotify, yeah. he said, if this two, this pair are not pouring a bucket over the royal family, nobody cares what they have to say. So, That's and I think true. he's got a point there. But he where, where do they go? Where do they go from here, Charlie? Well, the, the floundering, Kevin, it's, it's that simple. I mean, they keep coming up with these ideas, you know, about uh, Miss Faversham, Emily in Paris. <laughs> Uh, all these sort of ideas which aren't going down well with Netflix. Now, Netflix are still are still holding on to £40 million of the £80 million deal, and they've, they're hoping that the couple will come up with something. Uh, and as we've just discussed, you can only start slagging off the royal family for so long. Well, they've done that. The, 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 the cage is locked now. Uh, they can't keep coming back and saying, oh, poor... Poor us, look, the king's terrible, the, my brother's awful, my my sister-in-law's dreadful as well. Can't keep doing that because nobody's listening to that, that, that story anymore. You know, and I think a few people were surprised that they went that far with what they did. And I don't think there's that many people who believe their version of that truth of theirs, to be perfectly honest. So they're going to have to come up. I mean, they've got they've got a production company, and I'm assuming they've got people in the production company who know a thing or two about television and producing programs. Well, clearly they're not they're not listening to anything that they're saying if they're coming up with this parcel of rubbish. 
Yes, and uh, of course, Bill Simmons, who's in charge of monetization and innovation at Spotify, a very important guy, uh, he said that they should have made a, a podcast uh, with Harry and Meghan called the Bleeping Grifters. In other words, yeah. he de he described them as lazy uh, and basically a couple of con artists uh, who didn't put the work in. And there's a big article has appeared in the Wall Street Journal uh, saying that, uh, that their performance was felt to be quotes, subpar. In other Some words, in the accusation, the allegation against them is they just expect, because they're royal, they have this status, that companies are going to give them money <laughs> and they don't have to do anything in return. You know, Kevin, it is the opposite of the Midas touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything they touch turns to what you know what. Yeah. You know, I, 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 and, and it's incredible that... that Someday soon, they're going to come a real cropper and the button, you know, the plug's going to be pulled everywhere. And I don't know where they go from, from here. Now, this there was a suggestion that she was going to have a deal with Dior. Now, it may, that, that may have been a far-fetched fetch rumour, but Dior certainly don't know anything at all about it. So that, that's another closed, closed door. And if they're going to... You see, she thinks that just because she's been a, an actress in a cable program suits that she knows how the business works well there's a lot of people spent a lot of time learning how the business works and as far as i can see she hasn't learned anything yeah no i, I agree and, and uh they don't, you know, as you uh, exemplified with your story about Harry, uh, his idea, absurd though it was, oh, I'll interview uh, Vladimir Putin, yeah. I'll interview Donald Trump, I'll interview the Pope. Uh, right, set those interviews up and then I'll do them. Well, no, no, you you do that work. They don't and seem to understand that, they, that they've got to put the graft in. If you're going to take $100 million, $20 million from companies they expect you to work for that money and those two don't seem to understand that no and and this is something that megan has been accused of as well even with her spotify podcasts is that that some of the people that were being interviewed were being interviewed by a member of her staff and she filled in the questions after yeah. so you know this is highly trying to jump on that terrible bandwagon but it, it, it's not working it's not going to work and you know i just think they should just I, I don't know. They've got in, have they got enough money? I'm, I suppose they have got enough money. Maybe, now. maybe but they've got huge. Uh, they've got seven point five million dollars to pay on their mortgage. Massive yeah. mortgage. They've yeah. got great expenses. Uh, yeah. And uh, the thing about the Dior deal uh, with the fashion house deal, uh, allegedly. You know, she was yeah. going to become an influencer, saying buy this dress, and she gets two hundred thousand dollars for that post. Well, it's never been confirmed by Dior. And the way these companies think is, you know, why would they go for someone like Meghan, who with the best will in the world is a divisive figure? Some people like her, lots of people don't like her. Uh, companies are not going to go with someone who lots of people don't like, are they? No, they're, they're not. And that, that is the thing. We, we talked about it the other day, that her rating, her popularity is minus... Um, something like 47%. Yes, yeah, it's the she's, lowest it's ever been, yeah. It's the lowest it's ever been, and she's just above the Duke of York, who's minus 72%. Well, we all know why he's, yeah, he's in the clinic. And Harry himself is about th minus 36%. So the popularity in this country, and, you know, companies want winners. Companies who want people to promote their product, their perfume, their Coca-Cola, their whatever it is, they want winners. They want someone that the, the public can identify with. Yeah. And... They, they want, and the companies want those, us, us you, me, and the, the readers and the viewers to buy those products. We well, are not going to be selling very much uh, with Harry and Meghan. Well, you're and not. Uh, and here's another thing about influencers. She wants to, uh, well, we don't know whether she wants to be an influencer, but we're being told that she's interested in this. But, you know, they talk about this, oh, Love Island influencers, they're all making a fortune. Well, that's not true. You, no. <laughs> you have to pay the piper with these deals. So if you start posting stuff and it puts sales up sure they'll keep giving you money but it's yeah. ruthless within seconds of you not putting sales up they'll axe you so this Absolutely. idea that she can become a big massive multi-millionaire influencer just like that i think it's extremely unlikely because they're not interested in people who lots of people don't like and lots of people don't like megan
But the, the simple thing would be if Megan decides to carry on with her political ambitions and become the president of the United States, oh. perhaps Harry could, visit, Harry could in, interview her. That'd be, that'd, that'd uh -huh. be the thing. <laughs> She'd probably say no. <laughs> uh, Charlie, fantastic to talk to you, as always. We'll do it again next week. That's Charlie Ray, former Sun Royal editor on uh, the podcast Pair. It's all going Pete Tong for Harry and Meghan, isn't it? What do you think about that?